All right, I need to order this. I need to reorder one of those. I need to reorder this. Definitely want to reorder this. Reorder this. I love this. Oh, oh, hi. How are you? I'm Carla, and I'm a skincare addict. Hey there, chickadee, and welcome to Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. Cindy, the other real chick, is taking a leave of absence from the channel due to some personal and family reasons, so please keep her in your prayers. Meanwhile, we are going to do a tag today. We want to thank Lauren from the Honest Beauty Review for tagging us in a really cool tag called Confessions of a Skincare Addict. Let's talk about skincare. So that's what we're gonna do today. To all of our new subscribers, hello and welcome, and thanks to all of our loyals for coming back time and time again. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click the bell for all notifications when we upload a new video. Now, I wanna go ahead and tag some people from the very beginning so that they know that they're tagged and that you can pay attention to the questions because this is a really cool tag. And I think the answers from everyone are going to be quite interesting. So I'm tagging a lot of folks who I feel have great skin, who have great information on skincare advice, and who I really would like to find out what they use. Also, I'm tagging people of various ages, so I think it'll be really interesting to find out the different answers. So I am tagging Pensmith Skincare, Little Poet, Susan, Life with Lily, Sheila, Shaz from Blonde Tea Party, Anti-Aging Amber, Cheryl from Free Range Diva, Monica McGillicuddy, Fabulous 50s with Shelly, Cody from Montboro Skincare, Marta Laura Zayas, Tiffany Dawn, Jennifer Jenkins, your tag too, L. Larry Artistry, Natalie the Beauty Diva, and last but not least, Sharon Capehart. All right, what do you say we do this tag? Question number one, how many products are in your daily skincare routine? Well, if you took a look at my basket and took a listen, you'd know there's a lot in there. I probably have about 12 to 15 different products in my skincare routine at the moment. I don't use them all at once. I probably use about five in the morning and seven at night maybe another here or two added in, depending on if there's something going on with my skin. Basically, I use the same thing in the morning and at night. Only difference and reason that there's additional two at night is because at night I add Retin-A and I like to add an oil. Some of my current favorites are the Ordinary Rosehip Seed Oil, the Ordinary Squalene Oil, and the Ordinary Marula Oil. Those are some of my favorites. And from Little Poet, Susan, I have also learned about the benefits of some great oils you can find online on Amazon, avocado oil, carrot seed oil, so many different oils. So I'll add one or two different oils along with my Retin-A at night. What brand do you have the most favorites from? Easy question, The Ordinary. There are very few products from The Ordinary that I don't like. And for me, what's not to like? It works for me. I have a whole routine down with The Ordinary that really helps with my acne, helps with my dry skin, helps with everything going on with my skin. I'm loving it. And for the price, I mean, you cannot beat it. So for me, The Ordinary really works. I have a video of an outline of all of the different ordinary products that I am using that I put into rotation. I'll link that up above and down below. It's not what I use all at once. It's a review of a bunch of different, I think 20 different ordinary products, what their purpose is. So if you wanna see that, check that out. I'll link it for you. Now I have been looking into medical grade skincare. I hear so many of the lovelies here on YouTube talking about medical grade skincare, how it's important. I mean, I'm 50 years old now, so I can't use what a 22 year old uses. So I've been looking into medical grade skincare, but I promise you that even if I do go that route, I'm probably still going to keep some from the ordinary in my arsenal just because they have really helped me keep a clear complexion. What brand do you like the least? Ugh, without question. Elf Skincare. Now, I'm not bashing Elf Skincare. It's got a really good price point, and if you're a very young girl, it might do something for you. But if you're over the age of 30, and if you're looking for anything anti-aging, particularly for dry skin or skin that needs nourishment, or if you're looking for anything to fight wrinkles, Elf ain't it, honey. No, with the exception of maybe one or two products for their cleansers, like this hydrating gel melting cleanser, not bad to remove makeup. Their makeup wipes are not bad, but when it comes to their actual skincare, you are getting what you pay for with e.l.f. in this case. It's a no from me. Never, ever, ever again. It's a resounding no. Brand that you haven't tried yet, that you want to try, 
and or that's on your wish list. What's on your wish list when it comes to skincare? For that one, I gotta go back to medical grade skincare. SkinCeuticals is on my wish list. Also on my wish list is Elemis. And the reason for both of them is because I just hear so many of the women here on YouTube that I admire and who I think have wonderful skin, like Sharon Capehart and Shaz from Blonde Tea Party and Penn Smith Skincare. I hear them bragging about those products. Also Natalie the Beauty Diva. So many people who I think have amazing skin and look so wonderful at any age are using some of those products. So the curiosity in me is like, I gotta check that out. What's on your wish list? The brand that has given you the best results and the most visible results. This is an independent skincare line that I absolutely love. I will link our full review on this brand up above and down in the description box below. This is Skin Dirt from the brand Hunter Brooks. And a few months ago, I had a horrendous cystic outbreak. I mean, my skin was just in an all out eruption. It was just red everywhere and it was gross. And I tried everything to get it cleared up. I'll insert some pictures so that you can see for yourself and be sure to check out that video as well. Skin Dirt from Hunter Brooks is what cleared up my skin. I will never be without this. It is the best cleanser that I have ever used and you can use it all over your body. Big Daddy has horrible eczema and psoriasis all over his body. He's been using this. It's been helping him. So head to toe is skin dirt for me. I also like to combine that with the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion. These two together, the skin dirt for cleansing and then this for some extra polishing a couple of times a week. Ooh, my pores have never been cleaner, smaller, or prettier. I mean, you just get a beautiful glow to the face. So I love these two, definitely. I definitely see good results from using them. Product with the best value. Again, I go back to the ordinary. We're talking $5 to $20 a product. A product that is worth the splurge. For me, there's no question on that, it's Retin-A. Everybody's skin is different, so I encourage you to do your research, but for me, it's Retin-A. Here in the United States, many people do not have Retin-A covered by their health insurance. So if it's not covered by your health insurance, it can run more than $200 a tube. Sometimes you can find coupons online that bring the cost down. $200 and up, average price I saw online was $225 for a tube of Retin-A, but for those of us who are seeing results, and I gotta tell you, for the first time the other day, I started to feel the peel. I had been using this on and off for about a year and a half. I peeled for the first time the other day. Ah, I got so excited. Now, it was not a big sloth. It was not a big peel. It was just a little bit, but I was like, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it, yes, yes, yes. So I got very excited about that. I do believe that Retin-A is worth the splurge. I also am a big fan of splurging on the Clarisonic and I would show you mine, but we are having all kinds of work done on this house right now. Everything is in total shambles. I'm lucky to even find a place to film. Stuff is packed up in boxes and I can't find my Clarisonic right now to show you, but I think it's great, but I can't find it right now. Yeah, we call this channel real for a reason. What's the newest skincare product that you are using? I am in love with this. This is Labiarets. This is their Fido Stem Cell Moisturizer. They were kind enough to send this to Cindy and to me, and I am absolutely mwah, in love with this. This is an amazing all-in-one moisturizer. The very first ingredient in this is not water. It's aloe. That's right, aloe. It is a wonderful moisturizer. It comes out in a pump. It is smooth, it is creamy, it has no smell, and it is just something that feels so luxurious on your skin without feeling heavy, and it sinks right in. It's unisex. It was actually created by a dad. He had been a surfer and he created this for his skin and for his daughter's skin. I love that it's a family run American company. I love that it's a mom and pop shop. You can get it on Amazon and it is very reasonably priced. It is $25 for this one ounce container and this has lasted me for quite a while. I use this every single morning and night. I put it on after that I put my oils on. 
We interrupt this video for a giveaway. Woohoo! Lady Arts is kind enough to join with us to give away three of these. That's right, not one, not two, but three containers. So three lucky people are going to win what I call gold in a bottle. That's right. Three of you are going to win a bottle of Le Biarritz Phyto Stem Moisturizer, and it is fabulous. So we're going to use Random Picker to do this. All you have to do is leave a comment down below with the word aloe in a complete sentence. Don't just slap the word aloe and then run. Use the word aloe in a complete sentence because aloe is the first ingredient in Le Biarritz Phyto Stem Moisturizer. Full details on the contest will be in the description box down below. Only two rules. A, you got to be subscribed and you got to leave a comment down below with the word aloe in a complete sentence. We'll run this contest through June 30th. Stay tuned for the winner's announcement. So let's take a look at some of these good ingredients in Le Biarritz. Like I said, the very first ingredient is aloe leaf juice, but it's also got some other great ones. It's got sunflower seed oil, sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil, olive fruit oil, just great ingredients in here. I feel like my skin is nourished when I use this. And I'm also going to go back to that outbreak that I had. It left some serious, serious damage on my skin that I thought was going to be permanent. I had craters in my face. I mean, literally, there were holes left in my face from the cyst that just were ugh, awful. And there were really deep indentations. And I honestly thought I was going to have some of the worst scarring of my life. Made it through my teenage years, never had a scar. Here I am at 50 and was facing acne scars and cystic scarring. I consistently used the Labiarits moisturizer and I give it credit for not having any scarring and for clearing up some discoloration that I had because it has the healing aloe juice in it. We all know that aloe is good for the skin. I credit Le Biarritz for not having those scars and I'm very thankful for that. So Le Biarritz, mwah, I love you. Thanks so much to Lauren from the Honest Beauty Review for tagging us for this. You are a sweetheart, Lauren. I hope that you'll go and check out her channel. She's significantly younger than I am, but she has some great skincare advice. The girl knows what she's doing. So go on over to her channel and subscribe and check her out. Hi, Lauren. Mwah. You're a sweetie. Also, be sure to check out all of the other channels that I mentioned and tag. I will list all of you down below. I hope that you'll do this tag. It was a lot of fun and really made me think, and I would love to hear your answers. Most of all, I thank you for joining me today. It always makes our day that much more special when you're a part of it and when you keep us company. So until next time, I'm Carla from Two Real Chicks. We love you. Bye-bye, chickadee.